All right, let's check your work from part two. I wonder if you enjoyed doing these. I like doing these. I think they're fun. Okay, number one in part two asks you to develop a uh, syllogism with the form EIO in figure two with these major terms. So our conclusion is some theologians are not dogmatists. And our major premise is no dogmatists are scholars who encourage free thinking. And our minor premise is some theologians are scholars who encourage free thinking. Number two, an unconditionally valid syllogism in the first figure with a particular affirmative conclusion. When we go and look at our chart of figures, we're looking for the, the mood here in figure one that has a particular and affirmative uh, conclusion, and that's going to be this guy right here, AII. -I. So that means our conclusion is some Supreme Court justices are people incapable of objectivity. And our major premise is all step ideologues are people incapable of objectivity. And our minor premise is some Supreme Court justices are lockstep ideologues. Number three, an unconditionally valid syllogism in the fourth figure having two universal premises. All right, so now we come over here and we see there's only one form of argument that has two universal premises in figure four, and that's an AEE. -E. So our conclusion is going to be no heroic episodes or teenage suicides. Our minor premise is no tragic occurrences or heroic episodes, and our major premise is all teenage suicides are tragic occurrences. Number four. A valid syllogism having the mood OAO. What has the form of OAO? That looks like figure three right here. You can see what we're doing is we're just figuring out how to kind of walk around these inventories and see how they work. So our conclusion is going to be an O statement. Some structures that invade cells are not things capable of replicating by themselves. And our minor premise is going to be all viruses are structures that invade cells. And our major premise is going to be some viruses are not things capable of replicating by themselves. And finally, we have this, a valid syllogism in the first figure having a universal negative conclusion. So which of the uh, forms in figure one has an E statement for its conclusion? It's right here, EAE. So our conclusion statement, no prenuptial agreements are guarantees of marital happiness. All prenuptial agreements are legally enforceable documents. And our minor major premise is no legal enforceable document no legally enforceable documents are guarantees of marital happiness. All right.